serious question. I don't even think, son. No, listen, man. the world's not round, but here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't think yeah. Sons pondered that question. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think we we care. To, uh, listen, I don't think the typical anybody, anybody like whether European, Asian, or Sons during that before like a few hundred years ago knew anything past the next village. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, like, no. Well, yeah. Well, well then we're still was definitely um, knowledge in the chair no, I'm between talking about the up. average yeah, person. I'm not talking oh, the about average explorers or and soldiers. Yeah. This, the people that travel were soldiers and explorers. I'm talking about that. Like, you know how we know China exists and we know New Zealand exists? I yeah, don't yeah, think yeah, the yeah. average person no. in those no. days even gave a fuck about anything past the next village Dang. or the surrounding yeah. villages. Well, surviving was a bitch. You know, it was just like, that was what you were focused on. You didn't really have a lot of leisure time to think back then. Yeah, and it was, and, and yeah, it was feudal, feudal systems. Like, everybody was under the thumb of like, you know what I'm saying? You was under, like, yeah. even in Europe, they had the serfdoms, so every right. those white people in Europe weren't just running around doing whatever the fuck they wanted to do. No, no, you know yeah, I mean there was slavery. Yeah, there was slavery and shit all over the goddamn place. Yeah, all this shit's yeah. relatively new in the past four hundred years. Like, yeah, this is like literally the best time to be a black person. Yeah, and this is the a best country to be a black person in. This oh, is yeah, the best yeah. time to be a person, period. But it's yeah. like the, the 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 leap or the the difference from being a black person at any other time to now is greater than the distance from being another person to any to not now. So like, it, it sucked being black. Like even in like like Oof. think about it. think about I if you imagine. A homogeneous black country, right? Where literally, if you broke your leg, they couldn't put a like. What do they call it when they when they um set 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 they a set broken the bone? bone. They the bone. didn't have they didn't have that technology. You know what I'm saying? They didn't yeah. have they didn't have like technology of like yeah. pulling a pulling a um a tooth a a a, a, a toothache. You know how you got a tooth that needs to come out. You don't have that technology, you know. Yeah. Tonsils. Think about all of us have our tonsils. All of us have had our tonsils taken out, or our wisdom teeth, right? Right. No, I got at my least tonsils. one. At least in one of the two, right? Yeah. At least you've had your tonsils or your wisdom teeth taken out. Every one of us, right? Or both. One of the two, or both. I'm sure there's nobody here who has their tonsils and their wisdom teeth. Oh, I got both. I never took them out. I might have wow. to do maybe. Yeah, yeah. I never had to take the wisdom teeth out. That's time. crazy. But most yeah. of us, right? Most. I might of have us to in the future because you know those wisdom teeth. Yeah. It's not like right, right. I got, major, you, I, yeah, got yeah, yeah, I got yeah. you. I got you. I got. You. I don't want to go over your medical history, but yeah, like <laughs> the majority of people, the majority of people have one of the two, right? And this is basic things, you know what I'm saying? Like just basic shit, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you wouldn't have none of that. Like, yo, your wisdom teeth would be in there aching. Your tonsils would be in there aching. You know what I'm saying? You have never brushed your teeth. Yeah. You probably you died have, yeah, like, really young. Like, the, oh, the definitely. death rate weight was probably so high. Yeah. And God forbid you give birth to an albino child. <laughs> <laughs> oh kid, God, no! Oh, Hell man, no. that kid, that, that kid was like, oh, "All right, we can use him in a soup." Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But that's the thing. Sounds like the dude they like to apply liberal glider morality to to, to action. <laughs> what you say? Ancient Africa. Yeah, the ancient like y'all weren't no. Yeah, I weren't like all, them, yeah. bro. Yeah, that's all Afrofuturism is. It's like Western well, Europeans, but with black people. Yeah, it's like, bro, none, all these concepts and philosophies and shit, 
that we have about basically damn there anything. None of this shit was created by anything. a nigga that 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 looked like fucking Denzel Washington, bro. Yeah, and right. they and they extrapolate shit to like an infinite degree. Like they'll find a bone with some notches in it, and they'll be like, "This motherfucker <laughs> invented calculus." It's like, yeah, what the what's fuck? that bone? What was that bone called in Africa? <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. There was a bone they found. Yeah, and they were like, oh, man, all the black people, they invented calculus and shit. Why? Because a motherfucker put some notches in a bone? Yeah, like, somebody shit. literally just probably just, like, was cutting, like, literally just deep, taking the meat off the bone. And left some but, yeah. Uh, but they get to, these niggas get to re- uh, they, these niggas get to go on hotep.com and then just get all this confirmation bias to all this all this ancient knowledge that nobody else know about all these ancient sun societies that were so advanced and had all this shit, but you just can't Dude, you can't bro. find none of them there. The before Ice Shango bone. Before I but. came to America, I was in preschool like my first year. And like I was like six years old before I came to America in preschool back in Liberia. And I remember like just a little bit. And I'm talking about like one time I remember I went to the bathroom and I'm talking about I can to this day I can still remember like how disgusting the smell was. The like when you go to take a piss, it's just a big tub, you know, like, like a bathroom tub. It's yeah. just a big tub, and it's yeah, just like yeah. filled with like piss and sh- and shit. It's like the bro. I, I still remember it till this day. Also, basically, y- y'all bathroom is a latrine. Yeah, but yeah, like, I it, so, like I got a I got a serious question for yeah. you though. How did you How did you make it over here? Because like I've seen videos on Liberia, and that a lot of that place is fucked up now. Like those, yeah. Uh, yeah, like my did dad your parents? Were they, were, were, they, were, they, were they part of the like? Was your father part of the government or some shit? No, my dad. He escaped. He escaped Liberia and he got through like the war. And then he got to like Ivory Coast and he was able to like um, send for me and my mom and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because that place, like, I, they 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 had like a village in Liberia. I was watching like a small documentary on it. Man, they, these motherfuckers were like shitting on the beach. Yeah, it's shit. disgusting, bro. Man, after the up. war, after the war, the whole country was just destroyed. It, and it it has it's yeah, it's it's this disgusting. After the yeah. war, bro, the whole country just went to shit. And they like just live like that now. I'm like, damn, nigga, like it's been like 30 years or fucking 35 years, shit. But, I'll tell you, man, the one thing I've noticed from looking at any documentaries where shit's fucked up is, man, dogs really are man's best friend. Because even in those areas, they're still wagging their tail and have you see your ass. With all that shit yeah. around them, man. I'll tell you. All right. So, Auk, are you going to, like, what are you going to tell us here about, because I see Mathematical Association of America, so I'm, I'm, I'm. Is I'm, this I'm, supposed to be a ruler? I'm this curious. I say no bow. So what, the how did I do calculus? <laughs> it was using that shit for trig. This, this looks like man. Bowl. If that black person got a hold of that, they see they can crack it open and put some weed in it. That thing looks like a fucking <laughs> blunt. It says perhaps the oldest mathematical artifact in existence, the Ishango bone, was unearthed in 1950 in the then Belgian colony of the Congo, now the Democratic Republic of Congo. It was discovered by the Belgian anthropologist John de Heinzelin de Bracour and named after the region in which it was found. The bone probably a fibula of a baboon, large cat, or other mammal has been dated to the upper Paleolithic period of human history, approximately 20,000 to 25,000 years ago. It is 
10 centimeters long and bears an articulated organized series of notches readily identifying it to many observers as a tally stick. Mm -hmm. However, its original purpose remains a subject of debate. Oh the my God. Shango bone is now housed in the Museum of Natural Sciences in Brussels, Belgium. This shit is in like a natural sciences museum? Right, some fucker yeah. was marking things off, was able to count to five. Are you serious? Yeah, maybe he was just beating the stick up against shit. <laughs> Nobody knows. It's a fucking mystery, but hey, this man. Is like, this is like man. black history, bro. Right? Damn. Those fucking scientists back then, they would fucking make shit. They would lie. <laughs> they, that thing could have come from fucking Antarctica. Bro, a whole tub nigga online and, would be like, yo, yo, just, you don't think we had no math and shit? Yo, just look oh, at the eye shango. Yeah. 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 Mathematicians back then, bro. Dude, the wild <laughs> thing, though. Here's my thing, though, about this. Like, think about this, right? So, it was un, it was it was found by a, a a Belgian guy, right? A Belgian guy discovered it. Like there could have been a thousand of these lying around the Congo, and black people would have never picked them up and said, "Hey, I wonder if this was from," like you know what I'm saying? We we or just gave a fuck. Yeah, right. So this this Belgian guy found one of these. He fucking counted all the lines on it, right? And then he dated it. Think about that. They, the white people, have technology where they can tell how old the thing is. You know what I'm saying? Carbon dating or whatever the fuck they use. You know, different methods they have for dating. Sons, we don't. Yo, know, we would have never created nothing to date an object. Never. Yeah, bro. That like. We right can't by bombarding that, that far. radioactive fields at it and counting how many come back and all that crazy shit. Man, so it's if a like black man found out. Like this thing got like affirmative action. It's like suns get affirmative action, but anything related to them, even inanimate objects, will also get affirmative action. Yeah. Yes. Right they made all these rockets and everything and they still eat with their fucking hands. But all that remains is the ice shanko bomb. The great I man, Maybe if a black person found that, it. he would have he would have fucking been like, I can use this to beat that chick over the head and take her back. You know? Think about this: the white people have different time periods, have names. So the Paleolithic period, and then this period, and this ticket period, we would have never even pondered about naming different past periods we would have only known about now well here's the craziest shit i heard and i've been watching it for two days these hotep motherfuckers talking about how a wo uh, the black woman is a god have you heard this and they re <laughs> and they that's reproduced old. asexually that's uh, yeah. yeah that's old that yeah that that Gods and Earths and five percenters and there's so many different fuckers. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's just like uh, that's just yeah. evolution kind of mixed with Hotep, so it kind of makes sense why a son would come up with that. Uh, salute <laughs> to um, Baby King, man. He says the panel go crazy. Freedom of speech. Salute to you, man. Make sure y'all support the channel via PayPal, Cash App, or the Super Chat. I I just say uh. I don't want to dismiss all of this shit because I mean it's it's niggas, so probably none of that shit is true, but I just call all that shit coke, bro. Like when these niggas be coming up with all these fucking theories and this fucking pseudo history of, of niggas that nobody can't really confirm or deny. It's like I just I just hand wave all that shit. The funny thing about sons, right? There are figures in ancient History, black history, right? There are Africans that uh, that have been chronicled in, um, you know, throughout the years. You know what I'm saying? Like they, like especially like in in Nigeria, they know their 
kings and queens dating back hundreds and hundreds of years. You know what I'm saying? Only in oral history. history. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's written down now. It's written down like it's been chronicled. The white man chronicled it. Um, but it's like they never, they would always rather like promote some mythical shit than some actual shit, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Black people love doing that, man. Or mm. still, or just straight up, just still some other shit. Yeah, because man. the actual shit, the actual shit sucks. It's like the Woman King, that movie they did. You know, they got to put up with the fact that they were all slavers. They yeah. want to hear that shit. You know what yeah. I mean? And they. Yeah. Bro, that's yeah. why I say. Uh, I think, in my opinion, bro, I say I say gliders are like the most pro truth people, and we the least pro truth people. Like, I don't think we actually want to <laughs> figure out like what really happened. Like, I don't, I don't think uh, we're interested in shit like that, bro. We love nah. the narrative over everything. Yeah, nah, we don't care about the facts. Facts don't matter to us. And, and it, we and don't it, have it, a thirst for it. Yeah, and when they and when when you bring up facts, you're like, yes, but you have to understand that was written by white historians. Like it was all written by white historians. Right, right. 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 You know what I mean? The yeah, Shanko bones found bone. my world, yeah. uh, You know what I mean? Like anything they bring yeah. up that's an actual fucking item, it's like it was chronicled by a white dude, you moron. Exactly. All of it. Like literally, there's no even the pyramids that they try to claim, like all those pyramids. The, the the guy who um unlocked because remember um that was a dead language the, the 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 hieroglyphics was a dead language nobody had used it in, in in thousands of years so nobody even could read it that those symbols on the pyramid somebody had to uncode that stuff and find out what like how the fucking language sounded not just what the symbols represented but how the language sounded from the people who spoke it at the time they made those pyramids. And a French guy unlocked all that shit and uncoded all that shit. Like Amin Ra and, and Hamotep, man, nobody knew what, the, what any of that shit 100, 200 years ago. That's awesome shit some um, French guy um, uncoded in the 1850s or some shit. They didn't know any of that stuff. Those those were just big ass things that were there. Those fucking Arabs on uh, that, that were in fucking Egypt, they had no idea about those fucking pyramids. Oh, All the knowledge we have of the pyramids was was um was 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 decoded and 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 found out in the last hundred and fifty years. Plus, it's that no, area was buried in sand. Like, the sand yeah. is so far removed from where it was when they found those pyramids. Yeah, but 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 the fact that, like, people walk with black people act like, oh, yeah, like, somebody, like, 500 years ago would have just been talking about Imhotep and Cleopatra. Nah, that shit had been lost for centuries. That was a dead language those were just symbols on the side of some structure and people just knew that it was there they were taking the stones from the pyramids and using them to build other fucking structures and shit and they i saw how they made that language how they recreated the language they figured out what one symbol was like exactly. the it it was like the word it and they're like oh yeah. fuck Boom, that's the key. We got it. And then they're like, all right, this looks familiar. What would come after it? You know, yeah. the prefix and the suffix. And then it took them a long fucking time. Yeah, yeah that's guy, pretty cool. Guy toiled his whole life to find out that. But nothing, nobody knew anything. White people, black people, nobody knew anything about ancient Egypt until like 150 years ago. The, it was the ancient Egyptians and then us. Everybody in between, nobody knew shit about that except for those pyramids are right there and there's a bunch of symbols written on them. Well, I think some people tried and failed to figure it out in that timeline, but yeah. 
but they didn't know. All these names, Imhotep, Amin Ra, Tut, and all that shit. Those were those are new things because we were able to read those fucking scripts. We're able to read those now. And Damn let script. me tell you something. Stuns would have never figured out or cared to figure out what that was on the on that shit. Are you kidding what? me, man? Once once they figured out there was loot in those things, fuck. They would have been blowing them well, up in the fucking there pyramids. Wasn't. There wasn't, there hasn't been any loot found inside the pyramids. That's all been found elsewhere. All the mummies yeah, and true. golden yeah, rooms, yeah, yeah. all that shit is not in the big three. That's elsewhere. Yeah. But but these these things right here, man. These these things that we contemplate now, and all these things we know. We gotta understand that that. That's all because we're in this society with these gliders. We would have never cared about any of that stuff. We would have been fine with just whatever we had, the natural life, trees, plants, flowers, animals, the wind. We would have been too like busy that. surviving. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You didn't have the free time because you didn't have the set societies all built up so you had the free time to sit there and scratch your ass and think of all this dumb shit you were yeah, too busy breathing time. and eating and living yeah you need time yeah you need you need you need time for your smart people your smart people need time to you know create um institutions like even schools like timbuktu those were arabs those were Arabs that were selling slaves. Timbuktu. I thought it was a black thing. I learned that at, in my little Afrocentric school when I was young. Timbuktu was like this black um, utopia. That was a slave trading center. Timbuktu's main fucking purpose was to trade slaves. Well, that is a sun utopia, though. That's like the sun legacy. Exactly. But it Maybe wasn't it. sun selling them there. That was, that was an Arab slave trading post. So it was like, yo, that was like, yeah, brutal type shit going on there. But it's like, it's like we, we in the Afrocentric sphere, Timbuktu is seen as this library, great, like the Library of Congress for like black people. We had a great <laughs> city and da, 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 da. you know what I'm saying? Like we right, yeah, they wanna they tough. wanna make it seem like that was your your Nirva, or Valhalla, you know, yeah. with all knowledge and education and yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just well if if white people don't exist and black people were there, they're gonna turn it into like it must have been a utopia. Black people must have run it. Yeah, because it's like they don't Yeah, we was kings, man. Yeah, we got the uh the advantage of not recording anything, so we can't really break down the horror and the and the and the the yeah. the, the fucking the depths of how bad shit really was on a day to day basis for the average sun person. Shit had to be dreadful because think about it like this: look at how we behave. Look at how much stuff there is to do other than be a savage now. Like, there's so much other stuff. There's so much other occupying your time. There's so much um, knowledge. Like, your brain is different than the brain of a person. Like, a person that's never read a letter. Think about the typical African. There's no written language in all of Africa, Southern Africa. None of those people would have ever read a sentence in their entire lives or known anybody who read a sentence or a word in their entire lives or somebody who had done a math problem, one plus one is two. They would have known anybody. No one would have ever known somebody or done that 
And think about how much your brain is stretched by all of that stuff, by reading, by, you know, doing all this stuff. It stretches your brain out. It, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of well, like, you know That's why they said with children with dual parents in the home, that child hears twice as many words per day. So they learn those words faster. Uh, yeah. They're more fluent in English just for yeah. the simple fact of hearing twice as many per day. It exercises yeah. your brain. All this living, like just walking down the street, seeing a stop sign, a yield sign, a red light, a green light, a yeah. uh, storefront. Yeah. yeah, when I came from Africa, bro, I came in the, in the first grade. I had to, I had to redo the first. I had to redo the first grade, bro, because like I just could not keep up with everybody when I first got here. Right, right, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. It's, it's just, it's, it's just a faster life. Like, think about it. Like, my daughter, she has like a hundred books, and she's three. She has a hundred different books. She has watched fucking ah months and verb worth for tv you know seeing so much different images and shit and she's three the average person in ancient africa would have never read a word in their entire life or known anybody who ever did not because there were there was no written language in the entire continent. Damn. On that note, <laughs> yeah, that shit crazy, bro. <laughs> Same black job. <laughs> they black channel. Oh, so, um, peace. All right, good night, everybody.